pandemic flu is a human flu that causes a global outbreak or pandemic of serious illness. Because there is little natural immunity, the disease can spread easily from person to person. Schools have a vital role in prevention and containment in an epidemic or a pandemic. Preparing for a pandemic influenza or pan flu outbreak is an extremely daunting task. Common approaches to securing mutual aid assistance and furthering the ability to protect students and staff will be compounded by the anticipated loss of 30 to 40 percent of the local workforce and neighboring communities. With that in mind, it's essential that the school community coordinate with other planning groups, such as emergency management and public health, in preparation of a pandemic outbreak and establish operational protocols to help guide your workforce through common best practices. Pandemic influenza is a severe strain that causes uh, severe illness. Um, it can result in greater loss of life and of course has a greater impact on society. Um, during the peak of a severe pandemic, um, workplace absenteeism could reach up to 40% due to people being ill themselves or caring for sick family members. Schools and daycare and childcare facilities can be closed. Um, public and social gatherings um, will be discouraged um, simply because social distancing will be encouraged by public health officials. The patterns of daily life could be changed for some time with basic services and access to supplies possibly disrupted. Social distancing is a measure to decrease the frequency of contact among people in order to diminish the risk of the spread of a communicable disease. Therefore, schools will be asked to limit the spread by having classes take place outside of the classroom. Pandemic may come and go in waves, each of which can last months at a time. The effects of a pandemic can be lessened if preparations are made ahead of time. The illness rates for both seasonal and pandemic flu are high among children, and schools are likely to be an important contributor to the spread of the influenza in a community. Scientific models support school closure as an effective means of reducing overall illness rates within communities and suggest that the value of this intervention is greatest if school closure occurs early in the course of a community outbreak. So it's very important for schools to understand that even though the school is closed, learning must still take place. When creating plans for infectious disease or pandemic influenza, it's important to develop scenarios describing the potential impact of a pandemic event on student learning. Um, look at school closings, extracurricular activities, and plan for continuing the educational process. Also plan for continuation of learning using e-learning systems, distance learning, homework hotlines, cable channels, um, any means that can get the word out and can help students learn even though they're not in the classroom. Plan for any special needs of ESL students and other students who rely on food programs, DJJ site students, any other alternative school programs or special situations. Don't forget to determine any potential waivers that are needed um, at the district or at the state level, any special requirements that a school needs to have in order to get that learning process continued. Look at the reduced staff availability. Remember, all your staff may not be present, so consider staggering your school times, um, looking at telecommuting opportunities. Um, make sure that you're establishing an order for staff to make sure that you've got proper coverage at the school. In case of a pandemic, remember, um, your absenteeism rate may be up to 40%. Um, make sure that you look at your approved substitutes list and examine the impact of double sessions and uh, staggering your school times on busing issues and other transportation issues. Um, also plan for sharing resources and staff, not only among your school, but other schools and neighboring districts. The bottom line is the supply of antiviral drugs will likely be limited throughout the pandemic. Also, scientists cannot be certain that antiviral drugs will be effective against a pandemic virus. For these reasons, infection control and social distancing measures will be the key to limiting transmission and delaying the spread of the virus. Also, protecting people. For more information, please visit www.safehavensinternational.org.